Hello everybody. In this session, we are going to study the topic sequences and series. Let us know what is a sequence. Sequence is an arrangement of numbers. Like for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. is a sequence. Why is it called a sequence? The numbers are C. From the second number to first number, we are adding 1. And from to get the third number, we should add 1. Like that it goes on and on. It follows a rule. Okay. So the numbers are arranged so that it follows some rule. It can be addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, any rule it can follow. It's a sequence. Okay. For example, if you consider 1 comma, half comma, 1 over 4 comma, 1 over 8 comma etc. Even this is a sequence. Why is it a sequence? Because each number is divided by 2 to get the next number. Okay. From these two sequences you might be understanding this sequence the terms goes on increasing like 1, 2, 3, 4 and if we go on increasing it will go up to infinity. And this sequence if you look at it you have 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 4, 1 over 8 like that. So the number of uh, the, see, the terms goes on decreasing. When the terms goes on decreasing by common sense we know the nth term will tend towards 0. So we can say this sequence is a convergent sequence because the terms goes on decreasing. For example when you look at this sequence 1, 2, 3, 4 in this all the terms goes on increasing so this cannot converge converge means come to a point okay so this will be a divergent sequence okay knowing by common sense and the practical knowledge of a converging and sequence converging sequence and a diverging sequence we will now discuss what is a bounded sequence so what is a bounded sequence what is a common bounded sequence what is the common meaning of bounded Bounded means you have the upper bound or you can have the lower bound also. Suppose if, if the terms of the sequence are A1, A2, A3, etc., An and it goes on and on. And if each term of the sequence is less than a particular number L. For example, A1 is less than L, A2 is less than L and like that An is less than L and it goes on and all the terms are less than a particular number the sequence is called a bounded sequence means all the elements of it are less than a number n so we are supposed to find that number to get to say whether the sequence is bounded or not so these are few types of sequence the very important sequence we are going to see now is monotonic sequence What is a monotonic sequence? You have monotonic means either it can be increasing or it can be decreasing. For example, the sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. is a monotonic sequence and it is a monotonic increasing sequence. It is called a monotonic increasing sequence because each if you consider the second term, it is more than the first term. Consider the third term, it is more than the second term. So each term goes on increasing. So it is a monotonic increasing sequence. Same way, suppose I have a sequence 4, 2, 0, negative 2, negative 4, etc. This is again a monotonic sequence, but the second term is smaller than the first term. And the third term is smaller than the second term. So each term goes on decreasing. When the terms goes on decreasing, it is called a monotonic decreasing sequence. So by common sense and the practicality of the sequences, you know monotonic increasing sequences will be divergent because the terms goes on increasing and the monotonic decreasing sequences will be converging sequences because the terms goes on decreasing so it will be a convergent sequence for a particular value the, if you look at the sequence uh, 4 2 0 minus 2 minus 4 etc the terms goes on decreasing but you under, do you understand this goes on up to minus infinity 
So this is again diverging because it goes to negative infinity. Whether if the sequence goes to positive infinity also we call it is divergent and it, when it comes to negative infinity also we call it as divergent. So these two sequences are diverging sequences. Okay. Now next we have one more type which is the oscillating sequence. What is the meaning of an oscillating sequence? Oscillating means it goes this side and that side. Okay. Suppose if I consider the sequence minus 1 to the power of n. This is a sequence. Suppose if your nth term of a sequence is minus 1 to the power of n. So do you and are you able to understand this term is going to be minus 1. When n, when n is 1, this is minus 1. When n is 2, it is 1. When n is 3, it is minus 1. When n is 4, it is 1. And it goes on. So you cannot conclude whether the sequence converges or diverges because it is oscillating. Okay. So now, we, after you know the concept of all the sequences, we are going to specifically find out how to find an equa sequence, whether it is converging or diverging. Okay. So the first very important rule we are going to do is if limit n tends to infinity the nth term of a sequence is finite we say the sequence is convergent. Please understand the nth term should be finite. That is what we have been explaining. In 2, 4, 6, 8 it goes on increasing. So it should be decreasing and it should be finite. So we are going to find limit n tends to infinity. What happens to u n? We are going to calculate and we are going to find whether the sequence is convergent or not. Okay. We will do an example. We are going to check the convergence of the sequence 1 by 2, comma 2 by 3, comma 3 by 4, comma 4 by 5, comma etc. So this is a sequence, it is very clear for you. And you cannot judge whether it is increasing or decreasing just by looking at it. This question has come in Anna University latest paper, I think it is 2013 paper, it has come in the CEG paper. So, this is a sequence. So, what is our first aim? Our aim is to check limit n tends to infinity, term n is finite or not. That is what we are going to check. For that, I need to find the term. Okay. So, now, what is term n now? Just look at the numerator. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. What will be in the 10th place? 10 will be there. What will be in the 20th place? 20 will be there. What will be in the nth term place? n will be there. So, do you understand in 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. the nth term numerator is going to be n. Now you are going to find what is going to be in the denominator. When you closely look at the sequence are you able to understand that the second the denominator is just one more than the numerator. Just look at it 2 is one more than this, 3 is one more than this, 4 is one more than 3, 5 is one more than 4 and it goes on. Okay. So the denominator is going to be n plus one. So, your task is to first find the nth term of the sequence which is done now. So, we are now going to the rule. We are going to find limit n tends to infinity what happens to this tn. Okay? n plus 1. And as you know, how do you find limit n tends to infinity? Take the highest power of n from the numerator. Take the highest power of n common from the denominator. In the numerator, numerator we do not have anything to take out because there is only n. Please write it as it is. And from the denominator, you take out n common. So, you get 1 plus 1 by n. When you get that, do you understand? This n gets cancelled. So, now when I apply this limit n tends to infinity, I get 1 plus 1 by 0. And we know, sorry, n is infinity. So, 1 by infinity. So, 1 plus 1 by infinity. And you know 1 by infinity is 0. Because 1 divided by a very big number is going to be 0. So, this answer is going to be 1 plus 1 by 0, which is 1. Is one finite or finite number or an infinite number? One is a finite number. Therefore, limit n tends to infinity, term n is 1 for us and it is finite. Therefore, our sequence 
converges. Okay, so you will be completing it like this. This image n tends to infinity tn is one, and you will say here finite because it is finite. The sequence, the given sequence, converges. So for finding whether the sequence is convergent or not, we are just going to write the nth term using our common sense and then we just find n tends to infinity and when you do n tends to infinity, you must take the highest power out from the numerator and the denominator of n and then you this will cancel and then you have to apply the limit. If it is finite, it is convergent. If it is not, it is divergent. Okay? We will see one more example. We are going to follow the same rule and we are going to check the term n is given by minus 1 power n plus 1 by 2 to the power of n. We are going to check if this is convergent or divergent. Please remember it should be finite and it should be a unique number. Okay? Do not forget that. <coughs> So, Tn is minus 1 to the power of n plus 1 by 2 to the power of n. Now, we are going to check the convergent of it, convergence of this. You understand the term n is given. So, we do not need to find the nth term in this case. Okay? Now, you are going to just now find limit n tends to infinity minus 1 power n plus 1 by 2 power n. As you understand, when n tends to infinity, 1 by 2 to the power of infinity is going to be a very big number. So, this part will become 0. That must be clear for you. 1 divided by a very big number will be 0. So, this part becomes 0. So, your sequence reduces to limit n tends to infinity minus 1 to the power of n. Okay. Are you able to understand? This will be minus 1 when n is odd. And this will be equal to positive 1 when n is even. As we already discussed, this is an oscillating sequence, right? Minus 1 power n will be minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 and it goes on. So, it has two different limits. So, we cannot conclude whether it converges or diverges. So, we need to say this sequence oscillates. So, we cannot conclude it is convergent or divergent, okay? We will see one more example, last example in this. Now, we are going to find, uh, I am going to give you Tn itself straight. So, there is no need for you to get the value for Tn. Tn is n square minus 2n divided by 3n square plus n. As the nth term is given, this is a little complicated nth term. So, I thought I will be doing this sum for you. So, we are going to find limit n tends to infinity of Tn. You know that. So, how do we do? Tn is nothing but n square minus 2n divided by 3n square plus as I told you, you should take the highest power of n. What is the highest power of n here? n square. And n square will be taken out common from the numerator. And here also n square is the highest power. You will be taking out from the denominator. So, this becomes limit n tends to infinity n, n square into 1 minus 2 by n divided by, if you take out n square common from this, you get n square into 3 plus 1 by n. As you always see, these two are getting cancelled. And now when I write limit n tends to infinity, you know 2 by infinity is 0 and you know 1 by infinity is also 0. So, this becomes 1 minus 0 over 3 plus 0, which is 1 over 3. Is it a, is it a unique answer? Yeah. You cannot get any other answer for this. So, this is finite and this is unique. Therefore, this Tn, the sequence Tn 
convertors. So we learnt one rule for finding the convergence of a series, sorry, sequence. Which means limit n tends to infinity, if the nth term is finite, the sequence is convergent, if it is not, it is not convergent and that converging limit need to be finite. That is the concept we learnt in this session.